Okay. RFK Jr. is throwing his support behind Donald Trump, in part because he and the former president agree on a number of key issues. And that includes the American diet and what's in our food. They also want to salute Bobby's decades of work as an advocate for the health of our families and our children. Nobody's done more. We talked about not about the things that separate us because we don't agree on everything, but on the values and the issues that bind us together. And one of the issues that he talked about was having Hi. safe food and Please. ending the chronic disease epidemic. And don't you want a president that's going to make America healthy again? Before his announcement, I... Yeah, that's... Uh... That's the guy, the guy who's healthy, who wants to make America healthy. Two healthy guys on that stage. Okay. Spoke with Kennedy about this very topic and a potential position in the Trump White House. Take a look. I thought it'd be great to just kind of look at some of these items because parents are encountering these food items in grocery stores everywhere. Maybe we could just start right here with seed oils. We are hearing a lot about seed oils. Why should people be worried about these kind of products? The seed oils are one of the... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. This is exactly the kind of dumbass shit that is so good for, like, the, the middle America morning show watchers, bro. I swear to fucking God. Oh my lord, I hate this shit so much. I it's it, it just like it frustrates me to no fucking end. Okay? It sucks because the American diet is dog shit, okay? American food safety standards are fucking dog shit, and I despise with all of my heart people that look at that, correctly point that out, and then fucking turn around and tell you like and that's why you need to have uh, an oyster a day, and that will actually make your penis more virile. Like, shut the fuck up! What the fuck are you saying? What is wrong with you? That's why you need colloidal silver and raw milk. It's like, I want to fucking die, dude. Um, the most uh, unhealthy uh, ingredients that we have in foods and seed oils. The reason they're in the foods is because they're heavily subsidized. They're very, very cheap, but they, um, they are associated with all kinds of very, very serious illnesses, including uh, body-wide inflammation. Right which affects all of our health. It's one of the worst things you can eat, and it's almost impossible to avoid. If you eat any processed food, you're going to be eating seed oil. Right, and it's interesting the government subsidizes yeah, it. Yeah. Why would the government want to subsidize something that's going to make people sick, and then in the end, we all end up paying for that in, in terms of health care costs, which well, are skyrocketing. Yeah, because that, that is a, a direct result of corruption. About 75% of FDA's budget comes from regulated industry, and that means food processors and pharmaceutical industry, all of them profit from a sick population. You know, the, a big item that, and, and by the way, it's getting very expensive, are cereals. Why is the food coloring in particular bad? The food coloring, you see your yellow food coloring, that is a petroleum uh, product. Mm -hmm. It's associated with really, you know, with... Um, with depression, it's associated with autoimmune injuries and ADHD. Yeah. These, and red dye also is, you know, is very bad. In Europe, the same companies are producing the same products, but they're using natural yeah. uh, coloring. But here they can get away with it. We have about almost a thousand chemicals that are in our food that are either outright banned in Europe or actively discouraged. So you wouldn't be able to buy this kind of stuff in Europe. You ask about why it's so cheap, why it's so uh, uh, ubiquitous. It's because we subsidize the worst foods. We subsidize it with about 70% of our food stamp program is to process foods, which are all poison. Right. One of the things that's interesting... <laughs> 
You're like, if you're poor, you have to starve. Like, again, like, so close, so close to the truth, yet so unimaginably far. Like, how do you get to the doorstep and just take a fucking sprint in the exact opposite direction? Like, it makes no fucking sense. And it's tied to, like, the dumbest shit because he is also anti-medicine, okay? Don't Republicans think Europe is gay? What the fuck are you saying? Like... The big difference within European standards is the standards. It's more regulation. You're calling for more regulation as you are, as you just endorsed the anti-regulation candidate and you're on Fox News the, on a program that in other instances is talking about deregulation. Like that's the difference, right? That's the difference. Europe, they have no one who's autistic. It's such a fucking dumb argument that you're making, okay? There is no autism in Europe, famously, because they're eating cigarettes for breakfast, which is why I sound like this. Interesting, as you'll see on, on labels, natural flavors, which is this catch-off phrase that I guess was lobbied for. But Yeah, he says no autism. Has he ever met anybody from Finland? That's a great take. No autism in Europe. Excuse me, have you seen the fucking OSINT pro-NATO community on Twitter? The ingredients in natural flavors are not really natural. No. In our country, natural flavors are, are chemical products. So you can't trust what's on the ingredient label. And the reason for that, again, is government corruption. It's that the agency, the USDA, the FDA, have been captured by the industry. I'm not against vaccines or modern medicine, but doesn't some food just objectively have harmful chemicals in it? Why can't it be normal and just talk about it instead of trying to do this shit? Yes. Um, it is objectively true. And also, the food industry has captured the FDA. That is also true just like the pharmaceutical industry also plays a significant role in this process. The problem is, if you want European-style regulation, it's more of the FDA, okay? Not less of the FDA. Industries they're supposed to regulate, and they all have an interest in, in subsidies and then in mass poisoning the American public. Yeah, I want to talk about pesticides and then let's talk to the, about the policy. So let's talk about the pesticides and the, and the things that worry you about. I mean, this looks like fresh food, right? What should I be worried about here? Yeah, I mean, the irony is, like, for example, my wife loves kale and she mm -hmm. had the impression that kale is actually good for you. If it's organic, it's very good for you. But most kale and, and strawberries, for example, grapes, are contaminated with pesticides. And, and Yeah, pro move from RFK staying on the ballot in blue states, by the way. That is like... Uh, I mean, he, he, he's like very clearly trying to tilt it in favor of Trump. Not that it fucking matters. I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know if it's like correct or not. I don't even know if that's like, that's something that I've heard as well. I don't even know how that fucking works to be fair, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. So. Whether you would accept a, uh, a position on the ticket if Trump asked you, and I think your response was, um, that would be devastating to my marriage. I think Bobby knows. He is going to be on the ballot in North Carolina and Nevada. At least those states already started printing. Me very well. Ah, okay. <laughs> I think that's the answer. I think that's the and answer. That's also why he's not saying anything right now. If Trump asked you, and I think your response was, um, that would be devastating to my marriage. I think Bobby knows me very well.
Ah, okay. <laughs> I think that's the I think answer. that's the and answer. That's also why he's not saying anything right now. I, I think that's your answer. You had been asked. I think liberals some, and progressives tend to overcorrect when countering some of these crank narratives that contains grains of truth. Like, you shouldn't just put your blind faith in these greedy, corrupt institutions just to own right-wingers. It's important to actually look into these things thoroughly and not just cite scientific studies sponsored by the industries that peddle them. What? Uh-oh. I mean, sure, but the point is that there are definitely harmful chemicals in a lot of the food, and it's especially bad in America, and I think it's foolish to be obtuse or reductive about that. You will never catch me fucking speaking on this issue as though it is a bad thing, okay? I already recognized and literally said RFK is not wrong when he says that Americans eat poison, okay? That is correct. He's not wrong about that. And also, he's right when he talks about how Europe doesn't eat the same poison that Americans do. He's right on that front Can't as well. Can't fight fire with water. The problem is where he takes that correct argument. Particularly the environmental working group has found what they call the dirty dozen, some of the worst pesticides on these products. So, um... You know, I you're getting called out on the Miz event. Wait, what? What is what is Hassan got called out for what? Someone just called you out for what reason? Someone called you out to come to Texas. They said you banned from Texas. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Someone sent me the clip. Sure, bud. <sighs> he called you a bitch. Okay, let's watch. Hello, guys. Killer Kevin over here. All I gotta say, Hassan!